Well, I really had to include all the things you are in a, a series of jazz standards. And what I did here is, is, is basically a, an improvisation. We just pressed the, the record button and I just went for it. But there's a few things in there that I've played this over the years and a few things that I've I've come up with myself that I, that I really like to play on it. Also some things that I've got from other players and uh, especially from my guitar mentor, Ike Isaacs, who used to play this. There's a few reharmonizations that Ike used to play and, and some nice linear movement going on that I really uh, got from Ike. He inspired me uh, to do that. Jerome Kern and Oscar Hammerstein wrote this in 1939 for a Broadway musical, which was called um, Very Warm for May. And uh, it also appeared in the 1944 movie Broadway Rhythm. And uh, you've got to remember that all of these, these jazz standards didn't begin their life uh, as jazz tunes. They weren't written by jazz musicians. They were adopted by jazz musicians. They were the pop music of the time. They were the popular music that everybody knew. So that was, they, they were obvious choices for jazz musicians to, to play these because they were familiar to the audience. Probably, <laughs> probably only familiar to the audience for when they played the theme at the beginning and, and at the end, then anything could happen in, in, in the middle. But this was very much part of the American culture of the 20th century, the 1920s, 30s, 40s, even 50s uh, as well. Just taking the these songs, and the thing was that they, all of these songs had very interesting harmonic structures, chord structures. So it was just perfect for jazz musicians. Of course, comes what comes to mind immediately for me is Charlie Parker's version or various versions that, that he did uh, of this song. Um, so I, I, when I was improvising this, I also brought into it um, some of the reharmonizations and some of the moving lines that Ike Isaacs inspired me to to do so in fact one of the things i did um there's a little harmony that i do is like when, it, when it, the first time i go into the bridge sometimes i do this harmony that's a bit kind of dissonant and normally i leave it to the end but i got to be excited and i put it in at the beginning normally normally i would save like something like that for a bit later on it's the element of surprise is always good but i, I did it early on and then i I came up with some other ideas after that. But I've been playing this this song for years and years and years, as have so many jazz musicians. It's such an important part of our musical vocabulary and uh, repertoire. And I never, never tire, never tire of playing this, whether I'm playing it solo or, or with musicians. It's always so good to play where these harmonies just are constantly moving. The ideas are, are never ending, really. The, the way that you can actually link all of these chords together and make it really flow so that it becomes a kind of storytelling experience. Mm -hmm.